This is the Arch Linux running on Apple Silicon Mac bare metal. In this video, I will show you how to install Arch Linux on M1 and M2 Max. This is a step-by-step -step installation tutorial, so make sure to watch the video till the end to avoid any confusion. Before starting, I want to mention that Arch Linux for Apple Silicon Max is not officially supported. However, a Maverick developer from GitHub used the generic Arch Linux ARM edition and Asahi installer making it possible to run Arch Linux natively on Apple Silicon Macs with full GPU acceleration similar to Fedora Asahi Remix. Now for this demonstration, I will be using my base M1 MacBook Air. The process is the same for any compatible Apple Silicon Mac. To install Arch Linux on M1 or M2 Mac as a dual boot, reserve at least 80 GB of free space or more and ensure your Mac is running on macOS 13.5 or higher. Then open Terminal and take a note of your macOS username. In my case, it's M1 Mac. Next, open a web browser and visit this link. Now, please note that this project is currently supports only M1 and M2 Macs. However, support for M3 and M4 Macs is expected in the coming months. Now, let's proceed to install Arch Linux alongside macOS. Go ahead and click on this link. Now, copy this command from here and paste it into the terminal. Ensure your Mac is connected to fast internet connection to download Arch Linux. Now once the installer starts, it will prompt you to enter the sudo password. Then press continue. Now type R to resize the macOS partition. You can shrink the partition by specifying a percentage of free space. For example, if your Mac has 90 GB of free space, you can allocate 80% to macOS and 20% to Arch Linux. Now, as you can see, the installer has allocated 49 GB of free space, then type Y and press Enter to continue. As you can see, this is the allocated free space. Then type F to install Arch into the free space. Now select the version of Arch you would like to install. If you are installing on a MacBook, use GNOME Desktop. For iMac or Mac Mini, use Plasma Desktop. In my case, I will choose Plasma Edition. Then confirm the free space by typing Max. Name your installation, then press Enter to begin the process. This process may take 15 to 30 minutes, so sit back, relax, and enjoy a break while the installation completes. And that's it, we are done with the first step. You can find more instructions for step number two to complete the installation of Arch. Now read these instructions and follow them carefully. I recommend taking a screenshot using your smartphone. Now press the enter key to shut down your Mac. Then wait for at least 30 seconds. Then press and hold the power button until you see a message loading startup options. Now 
Now this will take you to the one true boot, which shows all the bootable volumes that have an operating system. Now from here, you can boot into macOS, Arch Linux, and Recovery. Now using the arrow keys or mouse cursor, select Arch and press the Enter key. Now go ahead, select the username and enter the password you used to log in into Mac OS. Now press enter to continue. Then type Y to put the system into permissive mode. Then authorize the installer by typing the username and password of the macOS administrator to change the boot policies. And voila, now you can see the installation is complete. If your Mac gets stuck in a boot loop or reboots during the installation process, force shutdown and enter recovery mode using the one true boot menu. Then open terminal and run the script to remove outdated boot policies. Then boot back your system into macOS. and rerun Arch script and repeat step number two. Once complete, press the Enter key to reboot. Your Mac will now boot into Arch Linux running on bare metal. After booting into Arch, follow the prompts to set up the user account. Speaking of performance, Arch Linux ARM Edition with Plasma Desktop on Apple Silicon is outstanding. The experience is seamless and highly optimized. Now to switch between Mac OS and Arch Linux, first shut down your Mac. Once the screen goes black, press and hold the power button until you see a message loading startup options. Just remember when the Mac is turned off, holding the power button for 10 seconds will take you to the boot menu where you can see both macOS and Arch Linux boot entries. You can choose Macintosh HD to boot into macOS. This is the perfect dual boot setup on Apple Silicon Macs with Arch Linux and Mac OS. When you're inside Mac OS, open the startup disk and change the boot order. You can choose Mac OS to boot automatically whenever you reboot the system from any OS. And that's pretty much it. 
This is how you properly install Arch Linux on MVIN or M2 Mac natively. But check the description for more information. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.